Greeting to our viewers, it is an honor for me, Phuong Thao, to always accompany you and bring the, you the most interesting news on 22 Hour Channel. The news provides updates on the hottest, plastic, and most accurate information about the security and social other situation that has occurred during the day. And now let's move on to the main news. Ladies and gentlemen, Beijing suffered the heaviest rainstorm in 60 years. The surrounding areas were severely affected, flooding caused heavy casualties. Several major landmarks in Beijing, including the Forbidden City, have not been flooded in 600 years. The Forbidden City, Tiananmen Square, and the newly built Daxing Airport were all flooded, and bystanders said this was a worrying sign. According to the weather forecast, the torrential rain will then turn to the northeast, another moderate Kanu storm will follow closely, and its intensity is still increasing. Cyclone No. 5 moves to the north. Typhoon Kanu transports steam from the sea, Beijing and Hebei began to rain heavily last Saturday. Beijing was hit by the heaviest rainstorm in 60 years. Many weather stations were inoperable, electrical communication equipment was faulty, communication was lost and damaged. The rain has not stopped until yesterday. Many places recorded record rainfall, severe disasters one after another, electricity, water and communication cut in many areas, casualties can be difficult. Many people have posted shocking photos, except that many roads turned into fast-flowing rivers, a large number of cars and people were swallowed and washed away by the flood. In addition, the Forbidden City, the capital that is said to have never been flooded in 600 years, Tiananmen Square, even Beijing Daxing Airport are difficult to escape from floods. Netizens tweeted that the mainstream media had just praised the Forbidden City's drainage system as the best in the world, not storing water for 600 years. And then, Netizens mocked and expressed gratitude to the decision-makers and the Forbidden City experts for transforming the Forbidden City's drainage system, making water in the Forbidden City for the first time ever. Flooded, turning the Forbidden City into a royal garden, and the union of water and sky appeared once in 600 years. The scene of the Forbidden City at this time has been considered by some commentators to be an omen, foreshadowing the crisis of the Chinese Communist Party regime. According to comments, since the Forbidden City was built, it has never been flooded. The drainage system inside is very scientific and accurate, designed based on the conditions of the river basins throughout the area. North Flow The ground north of the Forbidden City is 2 meters higher than the south. The Jinshui River inside and outside the Forbidden City leads to Jungnan High. The water flows into various drainage systems in the countryside, and then into the sea. After that, the Forbidden City was flooded, which means that the Jung on high side is blocked, which also means that Beijing and Jung on high will be flooded more. The blockade and flooding of the Central South Sea is certainly not a good sign for the Chinese Communist Party. This reminded people of last year, when the Chinese Communist Party held its second session. On that day it was windy and the side gate of the Hall of Supreme Harmony in the Forbidden City was blown by the wind. Completely collapsed. Feng Shui experts also say that it symbolizes the fall of a dynasty. Another video shows heavy rain flooding the entirety Tiananmen Square. Not only that, Beijing Daxing International Airport, known as the gateway of a new country, has also become a unique water airport. The Daxing Metro Airport line was suspended from 6.20 am, Monday, and did not resume operations until 9.10 am, Tuesday. Beijing Daxing International Airport which was built at a cost of 11 billion US dollars and opened in 2019, also caused water leaks inside the airport due to heavy rain. Chinese Communist Party officials yesterday said that as of that morning, 11 people had been killed and 27 were missing in this flood. In neighboring Hebei province, 9 people were killed and 6 were missing. However, many netizens do not believe the official figures, and the real number could be much higher. In the past, Chinese Communist Party officials have tried to refute rumors that there is no flood in Beijing. An old woman in Beijing said, I have lived this long and this is the first time. I saw such a terrible flood. According to local reports, yesterday, the Yongging River in Mentugu, Beijing was flooded and rivers in the city were also flooded. After the flood, everywhere collapsed, the bridge was swept away. The vehicles destroyed by the flood were lying on the bridge, 
The outside of the car was covered with tree branches, sundries, garbage. Unidentifiable. The Zedin Hotel, the most expensive hotel in Beijing in Mentugu, was washed away by heavy rain. The lobby was filled with mud and water, the whole landscape turned into a ruin. Topics related to the Zedin Hotel in Beijing being washed away by heavy rain became more and more popular. A netizen posted a video, many people in Montagu were stuck on the roof of the building. A woman called for help and said, It's already flooded like this. The landslide cannot escape. What should I do? The tweet said that the flood discharge is clearly a man-made disaster, the comment area has a lot of sympathy for rainstorms and natural disasters, but there is no doubt about the flood discharge. After news of the death spread on the internet, Weibo's attention also increased. Some netizens said, Can't believe the rain will kill me, Beijing government please pay attention to suburban construction, can't believe this is Beijing this year. This time it was worse than the flood in Henan two years ago, and with more steam. However, to keep Beijing at bay, the Chinese Communist Party government opened floodgates on Sunday and Monday to prevent the dike from breaking, and neighboring Hebei province became a flood discharge area, leading to the Jiuju city, Baoding, Hebei province is only 70 kilometers from the center of Beijing. The natural disaster is very serious. The entire city of Jiuju with a population of more than 650,000 people was flooded. Netizens said that because the government did not notify the evacuation in advance, many people were surrounded by floods, waiting for rescue. Currently, many netizens and all walks of life are waiting to see if the top level of the country will go to the nearest disaster area to check. According to the official media of the Chinese Communist Party, Chinese President Xi Jinping visited the Western Theater based in Chengdu, Sichuan Province on Wednesday, and held a military promotion ceremony. The rank of General of the Central Military Commission at the Bay Building in Beijing on Sunday. Monday is the Army Day of the Communist Party of China. On the day of the Chinese Communist Party's armed forces, Mr. Xi Jinping publicly acknowledged the floods caused heavy casualties. According to a CCTV report, Mr. Xi Jinping, General Secretary of the CPC Central Committee, President, Chairman of the Central Military Commission, issued an important directive on flood prevention and disaster relief. Disaster, requesting the restoration of production and living order as soon as possible to ensure general social stability. The Chinese Communist Party's finance ministry announced it would allocate 110 million yuan for rescue work in the Beijing Tianjin Hebei area. A video on the internet shows the current situation in Zhuzhou. Residents in Zhuzhou who were stranded for three days said they had been surrounded by floods for the past few days, had had nothing to eat for two days, their two-month-old baby's formula was running low, and there was no electricity, water and telephone, they were almost dead. The disaster in Zhuzhou is very serious and many people are still hiding in their homes waiting to be rescued. However, some rescuing ghosts claim that the government requires an invitation to enter the area. A resident of Shawo village was asked by the rescue team to issue an invitation, but the town government stated that the official seal had been washed away by the flood and could not be found. 29-year-old man crying over the phone. A lot of rescue teams want this letter from us. I worry about dying. There are still many people trapped in the village. Faced with floods, had to write invitations to race against time for rescue work, causing many netizens to criticize as being too bureaucratic, the letter has received a lot of shares and attention. The paper reported that the rain in northern China has weakened significantly since yesterday, the northeast region will take over, central and eastern Jilin and southeastern Heilongjiang will become the focus of rain. Large, some areas will experience thunderstorms, strong winds, hail, and even tornadoes. With Typhoon Kanu uncertain in the future, the next disaster may not be limited to the capital Beijing and surrounding areas. The so-called Millennium Plan of the Chinese Communist Party faces the risk of flooding under prolonged heavy rains across the entire North China region. In order to protect Xiong'an, the Chinese Communist Party government deliberately dug dikes on many rivers of Jiuzhou and Hebei to release floods, inundating the entire city of Jiuzhou and all surrounding villages and towns. Currently, Langfeng will also be sacrificed as a flood discharge area. Flooded villages had power and water cuts, and cries for help were heard from rooftops. According to news from the official website of the Communist Party of China, 
due to the influence of the residual circulation of the Typhoon Note. 5. Moving northward. The Xiong Anyu area has had heavy rain for several days, causing heavy rain. The water level of many river systems flowing through the area has just risen, and the flood control situation has become fierce. Hungan is located on the edge of Bok Duongdim Lake, with an altitude of 7 to 19 meters. The water level of Aries Lake is always stable at 6.5 to 7 meters. In the past two years, the highest water level of Bok Duongdim Lake reached 7. 4 meters. In 2013, the highest water level in Aries was 8.44 meters. The warning water level of Aries Lake is 9.0 meters. If the water level of Bok Duong Dim Lake continues to rise, a low-lying area in Hung and New District will face the risk of flooding. In fact, some communities in Hung and have been flooded and children have rowed downstairs. Juju, Hebe is located between Beijing and Xiong'an, with an average altitude of 37 meters, about 100 kilometers from Xi'an and about 70 kilometers from the center of Beijing. In order to preserve Xiong'an and alleviate the pressure of the rising water level of Baiyangdian Lake, the Chinese Communist Party government decided to carry out a large-scale flood discharge in Juju, Hebe. Starting on Sunday, the government sent dike diggers to release floods in major rivers flowing through Juju such as the Juma River, Dashi River, Shaoqing River and Yangding River, flooded villages and towns, in some places. The water was flooded from 3 to 4 meters, only the roof remained in the house. The government of Juju sent people to dig dikes to release floods, many times secretly in the middle of the night. The video shows that early yesterday morning, residents confronted police on the west embankment of Sikkim Bridge in Juju, trying to prevent the authorities from digging the embankment to release floodwaters. It is reported that many villagers were arrested by the police, and the authorities were forced to dig an embankment to release the flood, and all the neighboring villages were flooded. The villagers all knew that to protect Hongyan, the government was forced to dig a dike to release flood waters in Trakchao. The Chinese Communist Party government did not notify the villagers in advance when digging the embankment to release the flood, and many times they secretly released the flood at night. As a result, when the city of Juizhou was flooded, dozens thousands of villagers were trapped in the water, without water and electricity, and their lives were severely threatened. The video shows residents trapped on the roof, having seen a rowing boat on the flooded road. The tragedy of Zhuizhou flooding in Hebe is difficult to describe in words. Digging for flood discharges clearly arranged from the center. According to reports from the official media of the Chinese Communist Party, Hebe province decided to activate the Yangdi River flood area at 6 a.m. yesterday. Vindin River flood area is one of 98 national flood storage and retention areas, located in the middle and lower reaches of Vindin River, related to Kuangduong District, Ansi District and Vinkin District of Langfang City, Province, Hebe and Wuching District and Baikin District in Yanjin. Flood capacity is about 400 million cubic meters of flood water. Our newsletter for today is here to end, please leave any feedback below in the comments. If you find it interesting, give us a like, comment, share and press the bell to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and see you soon. Thank you and all of you for paying attention. Please leave your comment and feedback in the comment section of this video so that we can respond promptly and address any question. If you find it enjoyable, please like and click the bell icon below to not miss the last tip videos from our editorial team. See you in the upcoming new bulletin of 22 hours.